Hey everybody, welcome to this video in our Nagios XI Core Config Manager series. And in this video, we are going to talk about one of the first things that you're going to want to do in the Core Config Manager, and that is configure some host groups. It's a great way to break up your monitoring and to look at groups of hosts. You can report on groups of hosts. You can easily add a host to a group. Super powerful. Let's jump into the interface and see how it works. All right, so here we are in the Nagios XI interface in the Core Config Manager. We're gonna go over here on the left sidebar and we're gonna click on Host Groups. You can see that I already have a couple of host groups configured. I've got a Linux servers, a Switches, and a Windows servers set of groups. We're gonna add a new group and we're gonna do a group for Nagios log servers. And the reason is because in a Nagios log server cluster, the more machines we add to the cluster, the more data redundancy we get and the more data we can handle. So it's a great example for why we would start looking at a host group. So we're gonna call this the Nagios log server and the description is gonna be log server cluster. You could add notes if you wanted. Uh, you could add some URLs in there. We're gonna go over here to manage hosts and I'm going to add these hosts here and close this and you can see up here that I've added five hosts. We're managing five hosts and assigning the membership and we're going to save. So what we've done is we have saved a new host group to the CCM database but we haven't applied that yet to the core engine. So we get this note here. It says changes are, de are detected. Apply configuration for new changes to take effect. We can apply configuration here or we could apply configuration up here. We'll go ahead and do it there. And we will see that it'll come back and tell us, fantastic, we have a new host group and core is restarted and monitoring with that host group. Here's what's cool. When we go to the home screen and we wanna take a look at what we're monitoring, we can go to a host group summary and you can see that we're now, we now have a summary. We've got five hosts and all of the services are okay. We can look at it from the host group overview in the log server cluster here and it's going to show us all of those we can also see a host group grid if we were to go to reporting you know we can run the availability summary we could run the availability summary with our host group for nagios log server and we can run that and we're going to see that maybe we want to run an sla report and we're going to hold that to the nagios log server cluster and we can see that this unit measured on its own has got a 100% uptime and that definitely is above our 95% SLA target for this report. That is the basics of host groups. There are a couple other things that it can do. When we go back to the core config manager, um, we can nest host groups. So if we say, all right, so we got Linux servers is a group and you know these log servers are also Linux machines, so we can assign that host group there. So we've added the Nagios log server cluster host group to the Linux servers host group so that they could be managed together under the Linux servers name so that we can save that and then we can apply that configuration. The other thing that it gives us is the chance to easily add a host through the configuration wizard we could run a configuration wizard for adding a Linux server. And then in one of the steps in the configuration wizard, we can simply add it to the Nagios log server cluster host group, and it will automatically be included in reporting and alerting and everything else that we're doing. That's host groups. Stay tuned for more videos.